One drop of blood carries millions of these cells, the red blood cells. They have this distinctive shape, which gives them a large surface area to absorb oxygen, and no nucleus, so they have maximum room for the substance haemoglobin. Haemoglobin is a bright red pigment and gives blood its colour. It's a globular protein, with the metal iron at its centre. It's the presence of the iron that gives haemoglobin its oxygen binding and releasing properties. The haemoglobin is transported along the blood vessels within the red blood cells. So how does haemoglobin work? How does it know when to pick up oxygen and when to let it go? Well, in areas where oxygen concentrations are high, such as in the lungs, oxygen passes into the cells and binds loosely with haemoglobin to form oxyhemoglobin. In this state, it travels through the body until it reaches an area where oxygen concentrations are low, such as close to working cells. In the working tissues, the red blood cells let go of the oxygen and revert back to haemoglobin, ready to be used again.